Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are fine and doing well. In last video, I have discussed one topic from the natural resources that is how air move. Now in this video, I am going to discuss about the cloud formation and what causes rain. Along with this, I will also discuss about air pollution. So let us start the class. Students, today I am going to discuss about how clouds are formed and what causes rain. The first step in the cloud formation is the heating of water bodies. Water bodies like lake, river, dig well. When these water bodies are heated during the daytime, a large amount of water get evaporated from these water bodies and goes into the air. And some amount of water vapor also gets into the atmosphere because of various biological activities. बहुत सी biological activities है जिसके through भी कुछ water vapor जो है वो atmosphere में release होते हैं जैसे कि respiration. Water और water vapor is the byproduct of respiration. And some of the water vapor is also released during the transpiration by the green plants. So lots of water vapor gets into the air and along with the formation of water vapor the air around the atmosphere or air in the atmosphere also gets heated and this hot air gradually rises up and with it it carries also water vapor so ye hot air hai wo dheere dheere upar ki taraf jo hai move karte hai aur साथ ही साथ ये वाटर वेपर को भी अपने साथ ऊपर की तरफ लेकर जाते हैं एंड एज द एयर राइजेज अप इट यूजेस टू एक्सपेंस एंड कूल मीन्स जैसे जैसे एयर हॉट एयर ऊपर की तरफ मूव करते हैं इट यूज टू एक्सपेंड ये एक्सपेंड होते हैं एंड इट आल्सो कूल्स डाउन एंड दिस कूलिंग ऑफ एयर causes the water vapor present in the air to get condensed means जब जैसे जैसे air cool down होता है वहाँ उस air में present जो water vapor है it used to get condensed and starts forming the small or teeny droplets water droplets बनने शुरू होते हैं but this formation of water droplets through condensation requires some particles which could act as a nucleus for the formation of these drops around that nucleus jaise ki ek atom mein nucleus jo hai wo center mein present hota hai aur uske charo taraf electrons present hote hain waise hi suppose ki ye jo water vapor hai jo water droplets banenge ye electron hai to water droplets banne ke liye water vapor se water droplets banne ke liye इन्हें एक न्यूक्लियस की ज़रूरत होती है सेंटर में तो क्या ऐसे पार्टिकल्स क्या ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जो न्यूक्लियस की तरह वर्क कर सकती हैं तो जो भी एयर में डस्ट पार्टिकल्स हो या फिर कोई दूसरे सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकल्स हो विच इज़ प्रेजेंट इन द एयर इट फंक्शंस एज न्यूक्लियस फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स बाय द कंडेंसेशन ऑफ वाटर वेपर वाटर वेपर जो है वो कंडेंस होते जाते हैं कंडेंसेशन प्रोसेस होता जाता है वाटर वेपर का उन डस्ट पार्टिकल्स के चारों तरफ और धीरे धीरे वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स का फॉर्मेशन शुरू होता है एंड वंस द वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स आर फॉर्म्ड दे स्टार्ट्स ग्रोइंग बिगर एंड बिगर बाय द कंडेंसेशन प्रोसेस फर्दर एंड वेन दी ड्रॉप्स हैव ग्रोन वेरी बिग एंड हैवी दे यूज टू फॉल डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेन जैसे जैसे कंडेंसेशन होता जाता है वो वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स बड़े और हैवी होते जाते हैं और जब ये बहुत हैवी हो जाते हैं दे यूज टू फॉल डाउन दीज वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स यूज टू फॉल डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेन बट समटाइम्स वेन टेम्परेचर इज वेरी मच लो जब एयर का टेम्परेचर बहुत लो हो देन दीज वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स also get precipitated in the form of snow means snow ke form mein bhi jo ye water droplets hai jo water vapors upar ja kar condense hue hai wo snow ke form mein bhi precipitate hote hai ya fall down hote hai and this is the process through which clouds are formed and which causes further rain 
rainfall patterns rainfall pattern means which area will get how much rainfall or in which time rainfall will occur in that area now generally rainfall patterns are decided by the wind pattern wind pattern kya hai if you remember in the last video i have discussed the movement of air in which i have also mentioned one line that this movement of air decides the rainfall also so rainfall pattern is decided by the wind pattern and in large parts of india rains are mostly brought by the southwest or northeast monsoons you may have also heard in weather reports that uh, some depressions in the bay of bengal is occurring which is causing rains in some areas now next is air pollution the first question is what is pollution now pollution is the addition of unwanted materials in environment means in water air or soil which used to show bad effect or harmful effect on the living organisms present in the environment now what is air pollution the air pollution is the addition or presence of unwanted particulate matter or gases in the atmosphere which used to cause unwanted and undesirable changes in physical chemical and biological characteristics of air which leads to harmful effect on human beings animals and vegetation means air pollution kya hai it is the mixing or presence of unwanted matter kisi unwanted matter ya gases ka presence atmosphere mein jiske wajah se air ka physical chemical aur biological characteristic jo hai usme changes aaye aur aise changes jo ki human beings animals aur plants pe harmful effect show kare to ye air pollution hota hai and the agents which used to cause pollution is called pollutants and the agents causing air pollution is called air pollutants now this pollutants can be of two type natural pollutants and man made or human made pollutants the natural pollutants include pollens spores forest fires se jo smoke nikal raha hai wo then generation of ammonia and marsh gases in natural decaying matters matlab naturally jo matters decay kar rahe hain ya fir jo volcanic eruptions ho rahe hain nature mein usse jo gases nikal rahe hain wo bhi natural pollutants ka kaam karte hain and man made or human made pollutants are mainly consist of s pm or suspended particulate matter like flying ash soot smoke which are produced due to the burning of fossil fuels in industries vehicles and thermoelectric plants etc now some pollutants in the air are also present in gaseous forms like chlorofluorocarbon oxides of sulfur and nitrogen etc some unburnt hydrocarbons also occurs as vapors in air and they are also a pollutant of air and when these unburnt carbons or smokes are present in high level in the air in any area especially during the cold weather they used to form smog smog means the combination of smoke present in the atmosphere and fog means smoke and fog mixed to form smog and it is a visible indication of air pollution means jo smog hai use dekh kar aasani se bata sakte hai ki kafi zyada pollution us area mein hai aur iski wajah se jo visibility hai ek jagah se dusre jagah tak dekhne ki jo distance tak dekhne ki jo visibility hoti hai wo bhi kafi kam ho jati hai now the effects of air pollution the effect of air pollution includes various diseases now first of all the spm present in the air causes diseases like asthma bronchitis and allergic cold etc now pollutant gases which 
is present in the air causes irritation in eyes throats and lungs in fact they used to injure the lungs and various organs ye lungs aur dusre organs ko bahut zyada damage bhi karte hain heart related disease also used to caused due to air pollution now the hydrocarbons which are present hydrocarbon vapors which are present in the air it damages the internal organs and sometime it also causes cancer you know students there is one interesting fact about organisms called lichens lichens are the combination of algae and fungi and they are found growing on the barks of trees trees ke barks par milte hain as a thin greenish white crust and these lichens are very much sensitive to the high level of sulfur dioxide means agar jahan bhi air mein sulfur dioxide bahut zyada hai these lichens do not grow there so lichens can be a good indicator of pollution how for this we have to carry out one experiment just compare the lichens on the trees near busy roads and on the trees some distance away means busy road hai jahan par bahut sari gaadiyan aati jaati hai busy road par jo trees hai wahan par lichens kitne hai wo observe kare aur ye fir dekhe compare karke ki aise area mein jahan par pollution kam hai means automobiles jahan pe industries nahi hai व्हीकल्स का आना जाना कम है वहाँ पर ट्रीज पर लाइकेंस कितने हैं यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑन द ट्रीज नियर बिजी रोड्स प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइकेंस इज लेस एज कंपेयर टू दोज ऑन द ट्रीज विच आर प्रेजेंट समवेयर अवे फ्रॉम दैट बिजी रोड वेयर देर इज नो ऑटोमोबाइल्स और देर इज वेरी मच लेस पॉल्यूशन सो दीज लाइकेंस कैन बी द इंडिकेटर ऑफ द पॉल्यूशन मीन्स ये लाइकेंस जहाँ पर पॉल्यूशन ज़्यादा होता है जहाँ पर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड भी एयर में बहुत ज़्यादा होता है वहाँ पर ये लाइकेंस ग्रो नहीं करते सो स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम मोर इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूशन दैट इज ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट एंड ओजोन लेयर एंड इट्स डिप्लेशन टिल देन स्टे होम स्टे सेफ यूज मास्क यूज सैनिटाइजर एंड मेनटेन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग हैव अ नाइस डे